We turn to Sunday's election in Tanzania and joining us by phone from Dar es Salaam is Africa 54's Vincent Makori. Good evening, Vincent. See me? And Vin Skype. Vincent is joining yeah. us uh, via Skype. Now, Vincent, there have been reports that the opposition could win this election. Why is there this sentiment? You know, the opposition is extremely optimistic. And the reason why is because and mostly the young people of this country want change. And they see the change through the opposition. Uh, this is because the ruling party has been in power for many, many years. And the younger generation feel that it hasn't really uh, done uh, the kind of things that the youth want to see happening, especially in the area of development, uh, job um, creation and even infrastructural development. So there is a lot of enthusiasm, uh, especially among the youth, and this gives hope uh, and that kind of propelling wind to the opposition to have the confidence that it will win. So you mentioned change. However, the candidate of the main opposition uh, a party was a member of the ruling party until recently. So when we talk about change, what is building the enthusiasm? Because is, is this really change? <laughs> it is a, you know, quite a paradox there. Uh, and uh, this is what people are saying. It is not so much about the personalities. It is uh, the parties. People feel that change is going to come through the opposition, regardless of the fact that the person who is leading uh, the opposition right now is a person who was in the ruling party until the other day, and a person who is actually up in age is not a young person. So the voters, and particularly the youth, are more foca focused on the opposition uh, having perhaps the alternative plan than the CCM, the ruling party, because they feel that the ruling party has had enough time to prove itself. They're tired, uh, they're fed up, and they think it is uh, a party that has grown old and outlived its usefulness in this country. Give us, give us a sense quickly of uh, preparedness. How, how prepared is the elect Electoral Commission with regards to security and other aspects? Very quickly. You know, the, yeah, the Electoral Commission uh, feels that it's uh, adequately prepared. It, it's got everything that it needs. In terms of security, the government has assured people that there will be security around uh, the polling stations. There will be a, a deployment of thousands of security personnel along with the armored vehicles uh, that will make sure that nobody will interfere with the process or will prevent other people from coming to the polling station to cast their vote. Much okay. confidence, but apprehension from citizens, okay. nevertheless. Great. Vincent, thank you so much for joining us. And that was uh, Vincent Makori reporting from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Now we want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Lenore Moudou.